My name is Ray J. Singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious and find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. You write a poem or you got to draw? It's strong. There's still a lot of girls here. I got to get more aggressive. I got to get my game on. I'm going to be the girl with Ray at the end. Oh, oh, you're an artist? Yeah. His 14 girls left in the house, and I'm just not worried. I have plans for him. He's going to put a nice ring on this finger here. <laughs> He's going to be my husband, of course. I'm done with my project. I love to draw. And one girl, I can tell they were getting jealous because I can draw on. Sorry. We all got feels, huh? Somewhere or another. It's just going to be a surprise. I just don't know what, when I'm going to give it to him or how. Or... Early in the morning, love is drawing, like he's drawing a picture of Ray. I'm like, to me, it looks like a police sketch from like a criminal. I'm like, my baby's not a criminal. I don't know. Whatever comes from here, I just let it come out and put it on there. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Join me in your living room. Little B calls us to the living room for another Ray J message, and we're just all wondering what's the next challenge. You guys are ready to hear your man's message? Yeah! Here we go. Get up. I got something to say. Now, if y'all don't know, I love to hit the club. You know what I'm saying? Especially with a lady that knows how to get things popping. You feel me? So today, I got something set up for y'all to really see which sexy lady out there is going to step it up and show. Make sure y'all wear something comfortable so we can kick it. So get ready. Peace. I'm very excited. I have another opportunity to win his heart, basically. And I'm just like, whatever he has planned, let's go. Let's do it. Ladies, I like to introduce y'all to my good friend DJ Dre Sinatra in the building. What up, Dre? <laughs> and also, I brought some of my good friends along to really show y'all what y'all gonna be doing today. Check this out. <laughs> Boom! I got super cool. The winners of America's Best Dance Crew. In full effect. I was kind of scared and nervous because I'm just like, wait, I'm thinking, are we going to have to do something like that? Now, we're going to split y'all up into teams, and y'all going to be putting together your own dance routine, just like Super Cool. I'm super stoked because I love to dance, and that's just it, period. Y'all going to be put in front of a live audience, OK? <laughs> so the winners will be the ones with the most audience applause. And the winning team will get a chance to spend a night with me tonight at one of my favorite spots in Hollywood. Choreography, cheerleading, dance, 16 years. I have this. I have this. Let's split y'all up into teams. Here we go. Team one, we got Paradis, Exotica, Caliente, Extra, and Jaguar. Team two, Heartbreaker, Adorable, Flossy, Platinum, and Pop. We got pop Team three, we got Miss Berry, Just Right, Luscious, and Lava. Y'all get two hours to put together your dance routine, all right? Now, get to it. Y'all gonna get with y'all super crew dance instructor and get to work. We get two guys from Super Crew to like help with the choreography with them two, plus me. You know, we're we're totally gonna rock because they have the tricks, but I have our moves. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can do it. 
I'm the kind of person that likes to perfect everything. I'm thinking this is gonna be my challenge to win. Two, and you're gonna go the other way. Three, and it's four. Popper supposedly knows how to pop. It just did not work out at all. It's probably what I Okay, wait, do it again. No, just do it twice, just do it twice. Oh. So let's see that bridge. Let's see what, what it looks like right now. I am extremely willing to take whatever risk we can possibly take to make sure we win this date. Woo! One more time. Lava, she threw herself out there for this challenge. So we try to do more technical stuff than just shaking our butts. Can I go? Oh. I am a little bit nervous that it's just too much. If she does that, cry over her. Young Ray. How you been? Man, I'm good, I'm good. What about my bunch of girls? You I'm good? Some, you got some bad ones. Hey, cool. All the girls is cool. The one female, she looks familiar, though. She really looking familiar, man. But I'm not sure. I got to look at her. I, you know what I'm saying? Drake tells me one of the girls look familiar. She looks real familiar. And I'm thinking... This guy right here went on a date. Oh, went on a date. You went out on a date with danger? danger? Oh, okay, we slept together. She smashed the homies. Yeah, not again, Dre. Right? I couldn't really see her from America. It's kind of far, you know what I'm saying? But she looks kind of familiar, Ooh, my dude. Which <laughs> one of the girls? She had like there? brown. She had brown and pink. Brown you know what I'm saying? Her name is Elle, dude. My name is El Navarro. I am 23 years old, and I'm from Oxnard, California. I don't, nice know by, I don't know by name. No, the yet. one with the brown sweats with and the, the brown pink and the shoes. She's kind of familiar. No. So I find out who it is that Dre one thinks he smashed, and it's luscious. Five, six, seven, orange, right after. There you go. Look, dude, all I know is the girl I'm thinking you talking about is Luscious. I'm not to tell you, my dude. Luscious? This is what I want. I want Luscious to just come to me and be honest. That's all I want. in the crowd because it's time to get things popping. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, y'all, all right. I want to introduce y'all to a real good friend of mine. She's going to help me host this challenge. I want y'all to make some noise for my home girl, Lala. Challenge. Today we have three teams battling it out on the dance floor for their man, Ray J. I'm doing this challenge because I want to see which girl is going to step it up and show me that they're going to give me their all, no matter if they got dance moves or not. Each team has one minute to perform their dance routine. Whoever you guys like, you applaud the loudest for. Obviously, whoever gets the loudest applause is the winner of the competition. You guys ready to meet the teams? Yeah. All right, give it up for Hot Damn making their way to the dance floor. We already prayed. I'm like, we're gonna win. Like, it's no way that we're not gonna win. All right, first up to the dance floor, giving us their flyest moves. Welcome the Hot Damn Crew. Come on up. strippers perform. They're all half naked, and I'm thinking, I thought this was a dance battle, not a freaking stripper routine. Oh my god, that was so good. Like, mm, I don't think ours is as good as theirs. 
So first crew up, hot damn crew. They come out explosive. And the crowd loved them. I loved them. Good job, girls. All right, Jazz, time to give it up for the Stingrays. And they look hot. I mean, they are fire. But the moves that they displayed was not it. And last, but certainly not least, y'all give it up for the third crew, the talk of the town. of like acrobatics and everybody's screaming for them and I honestly think that they did a great job. Yeah. Talk of the town, they had something to talk about. But honestly, I'm more focused on what I have to talk about with Luscious. All right, so it's time to choose the winner of this competition. Ray J, why don't you come up here and let's figure this thing out real quick. The audience gets to choose who wins and this is for a date with Ray. We're feeling very confident. Um, but you never know. All right, so audience, you know the deal. If you like the group, you applaud. Whoever gets the most applause at the end is the winner. It's real simple, it's real easy. Now it's time for the audience to judge who's the winner. And at this point, I'm feeling really, really nervous. Let's start off with group number one. Yeah, give it up for the hot damn crew. <laughs> We get a good applause, and I'm like, oh, we got this in the bag. It's a done deal. We don't even have to hear none of the other groups in the applause. We got this. We got this. Good amount of applause for you guys right there. Now, second, Stingray! Oh. I'm just like, fuck everyone. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It's obvious it's not you guys, it's Stingrays, but great job. So it's between the hot damn crew and talk of the town. I have to win this day. This is, I have to. And everybody give it up for team three, talk of the town. <laughs> All right, so without a doubt, that trophy belongs to team number three, talk of the town. My team killed the challenge, talk of the town, to win a date with my man. That's what I was going for. Yeah, I just want to congratulate y'all on a wonderful dance yeah. routine. Date number two, I'm on the roll. <laughs> We're going to all go out on this date, but I want to make it a two-night special. Tonight, I'm going to take out Miss Berry, I'm going to take out Lava, and then tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, it's going down just right, Luscious. Don't worry about it. I, I'm going to deal with the whole Luscious thing. But right now, I got to go on this date with some special people that I, you know, I feel like it's really happening. Y'all with that? Yeah! I got some sexy planned for us. Congratulations again. Let's have a good night. Welcome. I feel very frustrated because I feel that all the time I'm in the line for win, I never win. 
It's no fair. Caliente, you okay? I know. What's the matter, Caliente? How you feel right now? I'm sad. Are you sad? Because I want the day Caliente showed me the emotional side of her. I think she fought hard and she really wanted to win. And I like that about her. Y'all did a good job, you know? Don't cry, Caliente, okay? It's okay. I'll see y'all at the house. I'm about to go get ready for my date tonight, and I'll run into Luscious and Platinum in my bathroom. Now, I'm hoping Luscious is here because she wants to come clean about her and Dre Sinatra. Is there anything you want to tell me? But I just want you to just, if there anything you got to tell me that you ain't telling me, you let me know. Anything. Look, I'm trying to give Luscious the opportunity to keep it 100 with me. And it just seems like it's not happening. And that's concerning me. I'm serious, dog. I am too. I'm waking up tomorrow and we going out on our day. We having a one-on-one -on -one conversation because something is important that we have to talk about. We about to go do it big. You ready? I'm ready. Come on. Bye. Y'all both looking beautiful. Thank you. Real oh, beautiful. So here we go. First day goes to Lava and Miss Berry. I had a little thing set up in the backyard. Something candle lit, something out by the pool, just something that was perfect. Well, I went out on a date. You know what I'm saying? Me and Lava before we got a chance to talk. Mm. We ain't never got a chance to really talk. Ever. Mm. Never. Not really, huh? Not at all. <laughs> so what's up? Tell me a little something. What's up with your past relationships? Like, you a sing single parent? For me, it wasn't. You know, we got together when we were really young, and I mean, he's a good guy, but, you know, things just change, and yeah. I just felt like it wasn't for me. It wasn't my truth. So we getting to know each other a little bit better, you know, over a little plate of sushi. You know, it's time for us to really just kind of let everything out, put everything on the table. Just trying to get to know everybody, whatever people want to know about me. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Just vibe. Um, this whole sure. past thing, can I ask you what your craziest past was with any girl? Anything crazy? My craziest past? Yeah. Has a girl ever physically done anything to you? Like, like, like hit me? Slap in the face, kick in the... Mm, Slaps, I'm sure. What's up? I'm not the violent type. I'd more see a girl probably have done something to you. I don't see yeah. that you would... I think you would just really. take it. You ever got violent with somebody? Um, I've hit before. Out of, out of frustration and... You know, not getting an answer and, you know, that kind of thing. I'm like, whoa! Whoa, what am I hearing? Yeah, there's a lot of feeling inside. It's just hard, like, expressing. I'm not just new. But, um, I do like aggressiveness. That's what it do. <laughs> That's what it do. Well, let's go hit the club. <laughs> awesome. Yeah! Let's get oh, it in. Shake it off. I decide to take him to the club. Some urban riffy. Hey, welcome back to Ivor. We pull up to the club. It looks like it's really popping. So it looks like we're gonna have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to go in overdrive. I wanna take this opportunity to welcome Ray J to the iPod. This is so big. I wanted to impress Ray J and I wanna go hard with it. Anything I do and want, I get. Lava is like... Immediately, Lava goes over to him and is dancing over top of him and, and whatever. The whole time, Lava's getting real crazy. And I'm just like looking like, wow, really? I'm just gonna keep my cool, do me how I always do me, not do too much, but definitely not do too little. You know, Lava's coming on real strong. I mean, this is our second date. So look, I wanna spend some time with Miss Barry and see what she's all about. Everybody's vibing, Ray J's dancing with her, he's dancing with me, no problem. 
But then I started to feel a little funny. The day is looking way better now. Whatever is going on, I don't feel good. I don't like the feeling of it. What's wrong? You see, I'm concerned with how you're feeling. Why you won't just tell me what's up? By the end of the day, Ray and I have connected. I feel like he is really into me and that we had a great time. Yeah, I'm just feeling really good about everything. What it do? That was a long date. It was? We was at the club all night. They was going crazy. I'm about to go hop in the pool. All right, so. I might, I'm gonna go see what's wrong with her real quick. We had a good time in the club. Now I want to join the girls in a jacuzzi. But Lava's a little sad. I was very concerned about that. I still want to make sure Lava's OK. You sure you all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? <laughs> I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. You don't want to talk about nothing? By the end of the day, I didn't feel good. Not sure what's going on. All this stuff just start going in my head. Like, um, I don't like this, you know? Tell me. Tell me I what think you're you thinking about. Know. I want to know what you're thinking about in your mind right now. What is? What are you thinking about? I don't like the whole emotional thing, so I'm just like trying to hide. So what? Don't oh hide God, from me. Like just it. tell me. I don't want to talk to you right. I don't like people around. Nobody's people. around. No, it's open. Where do you want to go? I wanted to talk to him privately in his room where people can't just enter. That's the only place in the house that no, they can't hear what I'm saying. Come here. Why are okay. you sad? Why are you down? Listen, the girls are in the water. If they deserved a treat tonight, they should have went harder and more creative. You understand? They don't win. This is not about them tonight. So you're keeping your ass up here. If you don't mind, I would prefer you stay up here. Wait, did Lava just order me to stay in my room? Like I'm grounded? I, I, I can't even open up it and just break it down. I can't break it down because you know why? It hurts me to break it down like that. I don't want to come out and say what I really want to say. Then that's the problem. I, I, I can't even open up it and just break it down. I can't break it down because you know why? It hurts me to break it down like that. I don't want to come out and say what I really want to say. Then that's the problem. The talk started off, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing. And he's like, you're not being 100 with me. I'm like, I know. And I was like, read between the lines. What I would do in that situation is like, you know what? Obviously something's wrong. Let me get her in a comfort zone where she can express herself freely. You, you didn't put me in my comfort zone. So you still not comfortable? Listen to me, Oh baby. my God. I'm All right, let me, let me just rewind time That's real quick. Walk out the club. What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? I'm good. OK, boom, we get to the house. Where you at? You on the couch. What I do? I walk over to the couch. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Still didn't say nothing. OK, boom, it's us by ourselves. What's wrong? I really don't feel comfortable yet going to these house. Lava demands attention, even though I got all these other girls in the house. And I'm not in the mood for mind games. I asked like I 150 know. times. So now I'm ready to hop in the pool. Like, I'm trying to figure this whole thing out with you, mm -hmm. but you're not letting me in. So when you're ready, let me know. I go downstairs to check on my other girls to see what's happening, and I feel like it's all time for us to unwind. That was a cool challenge. Oh, that was yeah. so fun. Yeah. 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 Oh, we were, we were. Are you laughing at all? Ever. 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 We're kind of just like naturally, you know, drawn to each other. And I feel like we're just basically having like a alone time kind of like with everyone else there. So <laughs> good. Lava was on Ray's balcony and looked down and gave everybody a look. Crazy is the best description for it. I appreciate all y'all. Just, just while we are chilling. 
appreciate you. Know what I'm saying? You. Just thank you. If thank I didn't you. tell y'all before. <laughs> thank you for thank giving you. thank you for giving it a shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You do? Mm-hmm. Come on, get up, get up out of here. Yeah. Flossie, she wants to talk to me and have some PT. You know what PT means? Private time. She took me up to my room and man, oh man, oh man. Lava is still in my bedroom. We had our conversation. Right now, I want to have PT with Flossie. I gave you your PT. <laughs> Lava is still in his room. Like, she's still there. And I was just like, why is she still here? Like, this is so weird. No, I thought you abandoned me. No. And I was like, he thinks I was like, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Bray J actually came back up, but he didn't come up by himself. I heard voices, so I decided to take a look. We just living life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't worry about nothing else. Why the hell is she up here? <laughs> I think that he needs to come and try to throw himself at me, and then I'll think about it. Control myself. <laughs> What up? Y'all ready? Hey. Now it's time for Luscious and Just Right to go out on our date. I feel like it's the perfect opportunity for me to talk to Luscious about some things that I want to know about. Y'all good? Yeah, we're good. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I wanted to show them girls Hollywood. I wanted to show them Melrose. So I wanted to get them some, like, sporty kicks. Just show them some love. So, you know, that's what I do. Y'all pick out some shoes, pick out whatever y'all want. You know what I'm saying? Just shopping, because that's what I like to do. So I'm happy. That's what I like. This is the perfect date. <laughs> what you, what, what kind of shoe would you think for Ray J then? Since you the fashion oh, shooter. Okay, since I, was you the looking, fashion I was looking genius. too. I want to see Ray J on those shoes. These? Yeah. I ain't really feeling these. You got the, are these men's shoes or women's shoes? It's women. <laughs> just right thing. She could just go right up to the shelf and just pick something out real quick. If you don't like them, I get them. See, that's one thing. When, I, when I'm out shopping for my man, I see something for myself, and I like, I grab that, too. I don't really see any chemistry between Just Right and Ray. She's just boring. Like, she has no personality, and that's fine with me. Yeah, what, what was y'all doing last night before y'all went to sleep? Took a shower, and I laid in bed. I mean, I think Just Right's a real cool chick, but we just, right now, we not, we not vibing the way we supposed to be. And I'm not quite sure what to do with this girl yet. But you guys are ready with everything else? Yes, please. So bring these to the front, and then we can bring you guys out. Thank you, thank sure. you. Thank you. You know what? This date isn't over yet. Now it's time for us to go get some ice cream. Italiano. Some gelato. How y'all feeling? Good, because I got my ice cream. Yeah. I want to talk to you, Luscious. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so just give me a minute with her real quick. Okay. Now I feel like it's time for me to talk to Luscious about the smash the homie situation. Yeah, that one. So you know my DJ, Dre Sinatra? You know Dre? Mm -hmm. Like, no Dre? I'm trying to figure out if she's going to fess up and tell me the real or tell me the fake. We're not tight or anything like that. Yeah. We're friends on Twitter. But do you know Joy Sinatra? Like, no. I don't know him that well. Okay. I met him one night because we have a mutual friend. From there, we talked, we hung out, and that was that. All right. All right, yeah, I just wanted to know. She denies it again. So that's it? I don't know what's the problem, like, me knowing him or... Yeah, I just be wanting to know if that's it, like, because... I'm always honest with you. So I just want you to be honest with me. This is an, obviously an issue that's bothering him. And part of me is just trying to hope that Ray is open-hearted and see that I'm here for him. Like, I did meet Dre one night. 
We messed around that one night. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. So you and Dre one messed around before? She tells me that she smashed on. Why you never told me that? Because I don't want to put anybody out there. Like, obviously, you know what? He put me out there. If he wants to try to make himself look good at my expense, then fine. I never wanted to lie to Ray about it, but I didn't want to throw somebody that he knows under the bus. I don't feel like the homie was hating or doing anything. I feel like the homie was looking out for me and just letting me know what it was. I felt like he was 100% honest with me, and I felt like he wasn't 100% honest with me coming in the game. If there was any mistakes in it at all, was not telling him about it up front. Up to this point, I felt like I was one of the strong competitors in the house. And right now, I just feel like all of that is down the drain. So I don't know if I Why just, would you say that? You just got back what do you mean? I just want to go home right now at this point. It's really good to have somebody out there that's going to, like, have my back. And I don't feel like anybody does. Luscious gets back from the date, and she's extremely upset, which she's my friend, so it made me really upset. I just feel like I need to talk to Ray about this. Why are you going to drink for I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Which, why are you sad? You seem sad. You know, I heard that things probably didn't go well with Luscious. What you think about the situation? You heard the whole story? Like, not the whole story? No, I mean, no, she, she told you what happened today, too? She told me a little bit, but she didn't. I know, but don't you think she should have told me that she smashed the homie? <sighs> you really think she here for the right reason? Honestly, like, I would be hurt if you ended up wanting to be with her, but, like, I know she was. she's here, like, for you. I've been thinking, just, you know, just thinking about a lot of stuff. People make mistakes, but at the end of the day, it's, it's up to you, so. I just never thought that I would have to go through this again, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a tough decision to make, but it's got to be done. And I haven't even really made up my mind on what's, what's popping. I just know that I'm affected by it. What do I do? Upset, I'm not feeling too confident tonight. I don't think I did anything wrong, and I don't think I did anything perfect, because nobody here is perfect. I think I'm safe tonight, because I'm trying not to overcrowd him, so hopefully I made a good impression. The connection with Ray J and I so far, I believe it's improving. Yesterday we had just a little hiccup, but it was nothing major. I wouldn't quite say, okay, it's official, you know, I am the leading lady, but he knows I'm definitely qualified. What's up, ladies? Hi. I've been learning a lot about a lot of y'all. And a lot of the things I've been learning has got me concerned. At the same time, a lot of the things I've been learning has got me excited, too. That could really, truly be my girl in that crowd right now. So on that note, let's get it popping. All right, Miss Barry, come down. What's up, girl? Okay. I felt like you came through, really did your thing in the challenge. We went to the club. It was very sophisticated, very classy. I felt like you fit right in. Miss Barry, she gets the first class. I worked the hardest, and I'm shocked. Caliente, come down. And this young extra, come down. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Yes, I am. Jaguar, come down. Blessings. Paradis, come down. Exotica, you for the love of Ray J? Mm -hmm. Right. Flossy, come down. You know what I'm saying? You're putting your all into it. Heartbreaker, I ain't seen a lot yet from you. I know, but I'm I just want to step it up, I promise. Platinum. All right, baby. Adorable, come down. Glasses are running out. I don't have one in my hand. Where the hell am I? What's going on? Paranoia. Papa, come down. You still want to ball the way? 200%, baby. What if it was a million percent? I would go double that. Double million? Yeah. There you go. Three girls. One glass left. I need to get this glass because he's feeling me and I'm feeling him. This is the person. Like, for real. I think my chances are close to nothing for Ray to ask me to stay. 
I don't know where we stand anymore, and it just feels so bad. I am extremely shocked that I'm at the bottom. This can't be going down like this. Three girls, one glass left. And you know what's crazy about this? Is that all three of y'all girls want to date with me. So I really got a chance to get to know all of y'all a little more. I had a tough decision to make. Just right, come down here. I fully felt like you went 100% in on the challenge. And I loved that it showed. And then when we got to the date, I felt like things was a little flat. I just felt like we don't have that thing we need to take it to the next level. And that's why I gotta let you go. I understand. I think you're hella cool, for real. I wish him all the best. You know, him and whoever he picks, I wish him all the best. Because that's I just want him to be happy. Two girls, one glass left. <sighs> I am extremely shocked that I'm at the bottom. This can't be going down like this. I might have a little chance up there. I don't know. This is like the hardest part for me, but it has to be done. Luscious. Let's just keep it real. You smashed a homie. Seriously? What the hell is going on? Truthfully, that don't matter to me. What matters to me is that you didn't tell me about it. You not telling me about it made it seem like you was lying to me. And when somebody lies to me, I just... I can't stand for that, you know what I'm saying? Lava. Things is popping off, like, come down here. When we got to the club, I felt like we was vibing. I felt like everything was going good, and then all of a sudden, we just started acting weird. When I got back to the house, all the girls wanted to kick it. I didn't want to kick it until I found out you was okay. And I was like, damn, are we having an argument already? I really feel like me and you just don't fit for each other. And that's why I can't get you that glass. Lava just turned a little too strange. She, like, stayed in my room for two hours. She was just causing a fit for no reason. That's not the type of girl I want. He feels like he can just sit back and just let it all come in. No one does that with me. You're going to have to put in work. Someone has to give, and I'm not giving. I'm not going to bow down to Ray J. Luscious, come here. Like I said, we all got past, but I want you to be real with me. I wanted to so bad. I just didn't know how. I didn't know when, and I, I didn't know where. Sorry if I hurt you. I didn't mean to lie. I don't ever want to lie. I'm not a liar. I feel like it's undeniable that we have a connection together. And that's pretty much why we are here. So forget the past. I just want to start fresh. If you want to do that and be honest with me, I'm going to do the same with you. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Just look me in the eye and tell me, are you in it for the love of Ray J? I'm in it for the love of Ray J. Calm down. I know she smashed the homie. Just hear me out. I feel like she's here for the right reasons. Our chemistry physically is on point. Do I judge people by their past? Hell no. Nah. You know why? Because I got a pass. She smashed the homie, and she's still here and still got a glass. I'm like, wow, Ray must really like this girl. Come on. <laughs> it's a new start, and I'm so excited because I don't want to dwell on the past, and neither does he. Yeah. Oh. I need to get ghetto on you, like Ray said. Respect your mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're dancing, just dancing. Like, you don't look like ghetto, you know? I saw your boobs last night, Exotica. You saw my Everybody boobs? Everybody saw Exotica's boobs last night. Ew! What is that? Moldy ass bread! Yeah. It's like blue, look. Exotica wants to make a sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> 